everybody, Jade Hamilton here again. And just for a bit of variety, I'm actually going to read to you today from a story that isn't my own. It's a story by the brilliantly talented Cathy Cassidy. I'm going to read to you from her first book, Dizzy. And this is a bit in which Dizzy and her eccentric mum Storm and their friends Tess Finn, Storm's boyfriend Zach, um, Zach's little boy Mouse and Leggett, the slightly mad lurcher doll, are all travelling down to Tess's cottage in Lancashire and they've been driving through the night and they're all knackered and they've ended up at a services. I'm starving, says Mouse. Can we have chips? A Coke even? Seen the price of it? Snaps that. No chance. We slump into a booth alongside Tess and Finn. Storm looks around the cafe, checking out the other diners. A lorry driver eating egg and chips. A sleepy family huddled over huge baguettes. A lone woman sipping coffee and staring at a chocolate muffin. Finn slides out of his seat just as the lorry driver leaves the cafe. He scoops up the leftover chips and a plate of untouched bread and butter, bringing them back to us. Early breakfast, he says. Isn't that stealing? Mouse asks, amazed. No, says Tess. Not really, because the man already paid for that food. He just didn't eat at all. I think it's more like recycling. I open my eyes wide and Finn winks at me. The coffee and cake woman gets up to leave. Chocolate muffin, anyone? Tess whispers and Mouse is off like a shot to rescue the abandoned cake before anyone can clear it away. We sit in the cafe for over an hour, recycling chips, baguettes, scones and fresh fruit salad, before a tired looking assistant in a red waistcoat notices and asks us to leave. Mouse, a natural at this game, snaffles a serviette full of abandoned sausages for, leg for leg it on the way out. We drive off into the drizzly pink dawn, singing. <laughs> <laughs>